Good morning. Here we are having singing a time again in my kitchen. Well, happy Father's Day. I put two Father's Day songs in our playlist for this week. You can give, sing them to your dad and give him a great big hug. Well, I chose five of their songs to go along with what we read this week. The first one I picked was The Priesthood is Restored. Well, Alma and Amulek had the priesthood, which is the power of God. The music I put the pictures to has the trumpets blowing, like when we had Brother Miller come play for us, play his trumpet, and it sounds really cool, so have fun singing along with it. Well, Alma and Amulek tried to teach the people and told them they needed to repent or their city would be destroyed, and it would happen in one day. Well, the people just laughed. They didn't believe that their great city could be destroyed. And there were a lot of bad things that happened in the city of Ammonihah. The wicked leaders threw women and children who believed in Jesus Christ and all the scriptures into a big fire and made Alma and Amulek watch. Then they took Alma and Amulek to prison, and they were very, very mean to them. They hit them many times, and they spit on them. They took away their clothes and didn't give them any food or water for many days. And then the wicked people said, if you have the power of God, use it to get yourself free. Well, Alma and Amulek prayed to be able to have God's power to be able to get them free. Well, I picked two songs about prayer and faith. One of them is, I kneel to pray every day. I speak with Heavenly Father. And the other one is, faith is knowing the sun will rise. And it has the line that said, knowing the Lord will hear my prayers each time I pray. Heavenly Father hears our prayers. And he answers them. Sometimes the answer is a little slow coming, but he answers our prayers. Well, Alma and Amulek prayed with faith and to use their priesthood power, the power of God, to get themselves free. Well, in the Book of Mormon, it says that they stood up and they broke the cords that were on them that had them all tied up. Now, remember, they'd been in prison for many days and hadn't had food or water. They had to have been very, very weak. And the men had been hitting them, but they stood up and they had the power to break the cords. And when that happened, the people got a little bit afraid and started to try to run out of the prison. Well, as they did that, the walls shook and the floor shook. And pretty soon the walls came crashing down and landed on all the wicked people and killed them. And then Amul Amulek and Alma were able to walk out of the prison unhurt. And they went to another city to teach. Well, the next song I picked is, I Will Walk With Jesus. We read about Zeezrom, who was a wicked man in the city, he was a lawyer, and he had caused many problems for Alma and Amulek. And he'd even tried to get Amulek to say that there was no God and promised that he would give him a whole bunch of money if he would do it. Well, Zeezrom actually listened to some of the things that Alma taught, and he realized that what he'd been doing was wrong and that he was a wicked man. He, after that, then they took Alma and Amulek to prison, and he tried to stop the people from hurting, in Alma, hurting Alma and Amulek. But the people wouldn't listen to him, and they threw him out of the city. Well, he felt so bad about all the bad things that he had done that he actually got very, very sick, and it says that he had a burning fever. Well, after Alma and Amulek are out of prison, and they go to another city, they find Zeezrom, and Alma uses the priesthood power to heal him. So Zeezrom's heart was changed forever. Can you think of a song that we have that talks about that? And it's, I will walk with Jesus. Change my heart forever and help me clearly see. Well, Zeezrom's heart was changed and he could clearly see what was right. And he went out now and became a missionary to teach people the gospel and to teach them what is right. Well, the last song I picked is Follow the Prophet. There's one more interesting story that was in our reading, and it is about Zoram, who was the chief captain of the Nephite army. Well, the Lamanite army did come in and destroy the wicked city of Ammonihah, and they killed all the people, and it happened in one day, just like Alma had warned the people that would happen if they didn't repent. Well, after they had done that to Ammonihah, then they went around to other cities and they took people captive and took them away into the wilderness. Well, Zoram wasn't sure what he should do. 
he didn't know if he should go out in the wilderness after the people or what he should do. So he went to the prophet, who happened to be Alma, and asked him to pray to find out an answer. So Alma prayed to God, came back and told Sorum where he could find the people that had been taken captive and told him to go get them. So Zoram took his army and they chased away the Lamanite army and they were able to save all the people and bring them back home. Well, we have a prophet today, Russell M. Nelson. Oops, there he is, get the picture so you can see him. He has told us in our last general conference that we need to hear him, meaning Jesus Christ. When Joseph Smith went to the Grove of Trees to pray to find out which church to join, Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ appeared to him, and Heavenly Father pointed to his son, Jesus Christ, and said, Hear him. Well, how can we hear Jesus Christ? When we read our scriptures, we are hearing the words that Jesus Christ spoke to other people that were recorded. So the way that we can hear him today, one of the ways, is to read our scriptures, and then we will be able to hear him. So I hope that you are reading your scriptures with your family so that you're able to hear Jesus Christ's words. And that means you are following the prophet. Well, as you listen to the song, Follow the Prophet, listen to the last verse. Now we have a world where people are confused. If you don't believe it, go and watch the news. We can get direction all along our way. If we heed the prophets, follow what they say. President Nelson has told us to hear him, to hear Jesus Christ. So I hope you will try to do that this week and in the weeks to come. Well, have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.